Now, let's say you want to subset and save that to a file. We can just do that also here. So let's just say we want to subset. We want just the accuracy and precision, all right? We want just those ones, all right, for all the models. Okay, I'll do this. I'm not going to save, all right? So I'll just come to this session here. Okay, so if you want to save, let's do a subset. So I can just say subset equals, all right? Because we are just making a query without save, but I'm also showing you how to make the query and save that. So let's say df. This time I'll just use our other approach. Okay, like this. And I'll say accuracy. Precision like this, and then I'll execute this command. So do the subset. I have it here. And by the way, subset this word here is a function R. So if you are doing R, then I advise you don't use this as a variable. Okay, we are in Python, so we are safe. Okay, so now we have this. Right, so we can save this to a file. So I can say subset dot to csv right and then i can save to a file right so i'll just say subset dot csv like this now execute the command so now it's saved right okay so i am going to look at the outputs let's see so I'll open my directory, the one which has it. So there is it. All right. So I will just open it with my spreadsheet software and there is it. I'll have it nicely done for me here. Okay. So everything is so, so cool. Okay. Now, this what you need to note. If you are running Python, it's going to save it in the working directory that it has set. All right. So in case you don't find a file, let's go back to Python. I'll show you something. In case you don't find this file, just use this model type import os right and then say os dot get cwd all right so this will get you at the working directory that python is using and so this path that you see this is where the file is going to be saved so you have to look okay check this part and then make, and make sure it's there and then just check it and you are going to find the output file there all right now if i'm working on google collab then you have to use a different approach to get it and that one i've covered it in our tutorial so you may have to do that or you can just try your best to install python locally and then work and then get it done all right so that's how we do it now let's look at something here we need to look at this it's important now with another frame we have the index you also have your columns and so with the subset we had already set an index all right so that is why when you open it let's go back when you open it to a special software you are going to see model because we have already set the index so if you take a look at the notebook if you type this let's say df.index.name you see it there okay so by default python saves the data frames to CLV files with the indexes. All right, so if yours do not have an index name, then you may have to check and then appropriately name it. All right, 